Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are continuing to, um... Uh, browbeat the Empire into submission, I suppose. Uh, also, I noticed this little fella, Zox, Zok Gork's Chosen, is, uh, is hanging out here. Which is rather nice, because he's heading for Grum Peak. I don't know how he got here, I really don't. I did not see him sort of clamber over these mountains at all. But if he's over here to fight the uh, the dwarfs, then I am thrilled, because I was concerned about the dwarfs being so close to my borders. Um, especially because I'm not really protecting down here quite so much anymore. No, I've, I've run out free across the world. And oh no, von Falkenstein, he has to deal with Sterland, doesn't he? He's got to deal with Sterland. Although I do have Marius helping out now, because um, uh, I don't know, I promised to help him in his war against... Um, a, a river or something and his horse said it was a good idea um, his horse Daisy von Hellboring uh, said that it was a good idea so fair enough also you'd think I would have made that up no 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 that's that's his horse's name and closest advisor so uh, anyway Isabella you are going to head towards Brass Keep and upsettingly Helmut Fauerbach over here. I didn't spot him getting defeated, or maybe I did and then forgot because this is a new session recording, but he's not around here, which is uh, upsetting because I really want him to take Talapheim back. That would be very, very good. I would enjoy that immensely. Uh, also, we do have a bunch of bloodline things we could do because we have seven blood kisses now. We only need six for any upgrade that's available to us. So we have... Vigor loss reduction, right? Yeah, vigor loss reduction. And hang on, we already have ambush. Okay, this isn't consistent, which is quite silly. So look, upkeep, and then above upkeep, you get the new one, right? For the next level, it's vigor loss reduction. And then here, ambush success chance, and then underneath ambush success chance, you have vampiric corruption. It'd be nice if they were all in the same place, you know? Like tier one, tier two, tier three. But anyway, um, that doesn't matter. Uh, and then we have Winds of Magic. Or uh, experience gain, right? Yes. So I think Winds of Magic would be pretty good. Although Vampiric Corruption I think is, is probably better for Empire building. Especially if we are only taking um, like chunks of a province. We're not taking the whole thing. So I think there being too much untainted will be a problem. So I think more Vampiric Corruption is a really good idea here. So we're going to do that. So vengeful monstrosities who dwell among the cemetery graves. The broken-minded Shigoi embrace the primal force buried deep within us all. So I can imagine as we uh, fight our way through the Empire, we would find lots of sort of stranded Strigoi living in the sewers of the various uh, settlements that we conquer. So, makes sense. Makes sense. You know, let them come out and breathe a bit and uh, spread their corruption above ground, not just uh, hiding in the various crypts that they've been calling home. Uh, Commandment available. Let's get Foster Terror. Again, how many times have I told these guys to Foster Terror? you think they would have got the point by now, but nope. No, nope, clearly the people who are, who are in charge of remembering that keep getting killed every time one of these settlements gets conquered. So I have to remind the next guy to foster terror. Oh, Valmir von Rokov in Castle von Roken. There's a Rokus Rokov in Roken. That should be the, um, the title of the episode. And um, if it isn't, then I forgot that I said that should be the title of the episode. I think we can all agree it definitely should be. So anyway, uh, we're going to fight this guy. No, we're not could do. I think I think this is going to be a fight that's going to take a ruddy long time and I'm not sure we'll be able to win it. It's the it's the um, war wagons. I don't have an answer for. They will be able to use up all their ammunition. Or I'm going to end up having to throw my direwolves away dealing with them. And yeah, there's no way. I'd have to deal with everything else before the war wagons if I don't want my direwolves expired before they get round to it. So yeah, it, nah. This isn't going to work. That's a shame. That's a shame. Just war wagons. You never think war wagons would be the deciding factor, but no, they're the one thing I don't really have an answer for. Ah, well. Settlement lost. But that's okay. And now we need to defeat him again. And we get the Scroll of Lycos for it. That's nice. So the Empire Lord grows in power. To kill and rise him up as a zombie servant would be very satisfying indeed. No, that's not our plan. Okay? We're gonna maybe turn him into vampires. But... Don't tell anyone. Um, but yeah, that's all good. So, Isabella. Go get him. Excellent. So this should be an absolute walk in the park. The park of Brass Keep. So this one we're not actually going to keep. No, we're not. We're going to raise this. Although sacking it and then attacking it next turn might be good. Because we are going to have some delays 
in taking the other settlement, because we need Talapheim to be taken by Talabekland, ideally. But we do want to vassalize these guys, so we're going to need Talapheim gone before I can then take over. Um, her gig, so, ugh. In that case, we'll delay things a bit. Because I can. I can afford to, so I will. Uh, so you can do that. No, you can't. What is it that gives you... Uh, raiding would do it. We, we don't have enough movement for raiding. I mean, that's fine. We can suffer a bit more attrition. No biggie. So, Insane Courage clearly rolled a double one. Isabella von Karstein. Uh, so... Yeah, plenty of nonsense. Blood Chalice of Bathory has been done thanks to this, which is good. So, uh, beneath a newly risen blood moon, the necromancers toil at their studies. Then, by the grim and red light, they report their findings, revealing that the blood of chaos can be purged and harnessed through completion of an ancient ritual. After which, Isabella may safely consume it. Of course, we have read this before, but it's always nice to remind you what the stakes are. Next up, we have to go to Castle Dra uh, Templehof. Any characters, that's actually completely fine. So, with the slaughter over at last, the crimson moon seems pale now by comparison to the sanguine-soaked, beet-red settlements laid waste by Isabella. Through the necromancer's spells, the chalice hums with heathen energy, having consumed countless souls. Isabella knows that her time has almost come. According to her dark magicians, only one stage remains. She must defile the resting place of a great and mighty soul. She knows of no greater soul than Marbad. First of the elect counts and interred. Uh, first of the elect counts and interred nearby. Soon the uh, soon Isabella muses. She will sup on the blood of chaos gods themselves, gathering her forces beneath the cowering moon. She sets out for his tomb with unmatched thirst. Cool stuff. Have we got a corpse thief? Hooray! More corpses. Corpses not interred in Moore's gardens straight away often find themselves on the black market. Potion of foolhardiness. Good. And uh, you can go to Sterling in a second, mate. Well, there we go. You can go back now. So, that's done. And finally, we have a quest battle. That's a nice distraction while we wait for this to be resolved. I did tell these guys to attack Talapine. But, uh, amazingly, they're not yet. Like, they have so many troops. They could easily do it. Stubborn. Stubborn is what they are. Stubborn. Uh, so, Felix Wagner here is just going to have to sit tight. He's just going to have to sit tight. We just can't attack him. We can't do it, guys. So, okay. What I think we're going to do... I think we're going to do this quest battle. Um. Oh, okay. We're, we're not in a stance that they like. Now we are. So, yeah. We're going to teleport over here, do the quest battle with our slightly battered units. But that's fine. It's a game one quest battle, so it'll be pretty straightforward. See? Nothing, nothing scary. We have a lot of vampires. We're good. In fact, we can get one more. Undead yeah, we can get one more of them. Although she can't reach, sadly. So we will have to get Brass Keeper turn Lance later. Macau. Which is annoying, but doable. So let's have another look. Right. Blood Chalice of Bathory. So, as expected, the tomb is defended by a retinue of zealous, ignorant Empire troops. Standing between Isabella and her prize, the living fools are lined up before the tomb, having travelled... Uh, so far, and achieved so much in the name of greatness, she will brook no resistance. Smashing these fools apart to claim what she right, uh, is rightfully owed, a power beyond any in history. And we get the Blood Chalice, which is a very, very nice weapon. I'm looking forward to getting it. Until then, we'll have to fight some Empire folk. Good stuff. Also, I did see there were level ups, but I've already clicked, so we're I'm sure we'll be fine. So, Theodoric Fowerback. This guy might be a relation to um, the, the chap we've uh, already essentially, like, enslaved, essentially. Um, I guess he doesn't know that. Or, he doesn't like his uncle very much. Either one. Let's fight. Oh, these poor, fragile mortals. How they arrange themselves before me. Proud and defiant. Soon I shall make them prostrate and subservient. In death, they will become servants to the von Karsteins. 
pliable and deliciously loyal. Beyond this rubble is the tomb of a soul so great and so powerful that when it flows into this ancient chalice, the power bestowed upon me will make the world tremble. Bring me what I am owed! Here, here. So, you know the drill by now. We also have the Devils of Schwarzhafen, which is very nice. So we have some more uh, terror-causing units, which is lovely. Love a good terror. And, um, yep, yeah, you guys are a team right now. <laughs> Manny and his uh, his Crypt Ghouls, which I like to think could be some of his, uh, his thrall that we have also devolved, you know? Could be cool. Could be a nice, a nice idea. So, let's have a look. Um, I could put the doggos over here. That would be fun. Although the Knights of the Blazing Sun would absolutely um, kick the snot out of me over there. So, maybe I shouldn't. Hmm. I don't have to worry about the artillery, actually, now that I think about it. So, never mind. Hmm, I wonder. So, I want to I wanna make sure these guys aren't spotted, at least. I would like them hidden. Oh, okay, so I can hide in there. Alright. Somehow, those guys aren't hidden. Now they are. Good, that'll do. So, uh, group two. You guys run in. You lot over the top. And we're going to go straight for Theodoric Fowlback with our ladies. And, oh, oh, interesting. Not bad, not bad. You're a cheeky one, aren't you? Very cheeky. And... Oh? Hmm. Let's try there. That looks good to me. Alright, that seemed good. How was it? Who did that? 41 kills? Oh, was that all? Alright. Let's do another. Let's do another. It's not going to be as good, obviously. But, should do fine. Manny's having a bit of trouble, bless him. He's having a bit of bother. Alright, in you go, boys. In you get. And you guys are doing fine. I don't mind that they're all squidged up like that. Doesn't bother me at all. Alright, let's hit these guys with the old uh, uh, Scab's Wrath. That's the one. Now let's debuff him. Right, what else we got going on? Yeah, more magic, please. Arcane Conduit. You can heal yourself. You can use Arcane Conduit. Sword of Anti-Heroes and heal yourself. And let's heal Manny. Not that he deserves a lot of uh, a lot of attention. We're going to do it anyway. Oh, the Light Wizards get away. That won't do. I'll slow him down. All right. These guys are all fighting for Sigma, but... Uh, well, I don't like Sigmar's odds, let's say that. Alright, oh, I'm going to go for those Knights of the Blazing Sun now. Yeah, it looks like everyone else is sort of dealt with. Really just those flagellants left. Okay, good. Let's chase them down. Oh yeah, they're not going to be happy about that, are they? No, they are not. Unlucky, lads. Unlucky. So... How are things looking? Well, we're chasing them off. That's better than nothing, I suppose. Just them left, I think. Just the flagellants. Nope. Nope, Theodoric's back. Alright, can I... Okay, I can't reach if I overcast. All overcasting does is give you more range. Oh, look at all these guys being alive. No one said you could do that. Whoops. Alright. Come on, lads. Come on, you flying fools. Let's get to it, eh? Oh! Oh! Luring people from crypts, are we? I don't see anyone. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Crypt ghouls. Crypt horrors. Ah, that's all very spooky, isn't it? Very. Do love a good spook. Do love a good spook. 
Alright, let's go over it. Alright, here we go. Wallach, the cursed. How cursed is he? Hopefully he's ruddy cursed. Yeah, you guys can move up. And yeah, you're having a good time. That's what matters. Crit ghouls can come back. And group four. Yeah, you're all doing great. And group three. You can go for Wallach. Alright. Get stuck in. Good stuff. So, let's hit him with one of these. Nice little scab scrath to help deal with those uh, lightly armoured crypt ghouls. Always nice to see. And it looks like everyone is starting to break already, which is uh, bloody marvellous. Okay, let's go get him. Now, who has Enfeebling Foe? There you go. Uh, oh, you guys are done already. Okay, when you can recharge them. And it looks like this guy's had it. Good job, ladies. Good job. Also, this guy, who we shall name Tony. Well played. So there we go. Got a lovely tomb now. Gotta love a good tomb, you know. It's even got a henge. Everyone loves a good henge. Close victory. Yep, that, uh, that did it all right. Let's dominate the captives, I think. Could ransom them, but, uh, you know, losing casualty replenishment rate, actually, is that going to be a problem if we're suffering attrition anyway? Probably not, so we may as well get, like, an extra 1,200 quid out of this. Wonderful. And we actually have a ton of money now, which is awesome. So, we won the battle, we got a bunch of experience for Isabella, and we got our blood chalice, which is... Uh, a uh, blood chalice of Bathory, the life essence of many wretched, innocent, small folk, ensures that those who drink from this cursed cup thrive with newfound power. So 5% ward save for Isabella, which is very, very nice. Enemy hero action success chance goes down by 10%. Wound recovery time, minus one for all characters. We have a lot of characters, so that's lovely. And casualty replenishment rate, plus 5% for her army. And we get the ability, blood chalice of Bathory which gives 2,496 hit points and 36% vigor to a lord or hero. That is a big, big deal. That is a huge, huge heal. Much bigger than most other heals in the game. A lot of heals have been debuffed quite a lot. That is that is still very meaty. Very good reason to have her. But yeah, if you compare that to, uh, to our girls here, that's more than half of their health back. How cool is that? Really cool. That's how cool that is. Yeah. That's awesome. Also, a bunch more experience. Uh, what should we get, then? What should we get? Should we get magic or stabbing? It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Uh, raise dead, because she's the only one that can do that. So let's do that. Uh, let's max it out. Because it would be nice to get Wind of Death and Arcane Conduit on her as well. So, Elke van Hal, Let's get you... Something... Perhaps. Uh, spread corruption, why not? I can't decide between all the spells. Uh, Melissa Ratep. So we've got Doom and Darkness maxed out for her. Oh, Arcane Conduit, lovely. Oh, she leveled up again, my bad. She leveled up twice. She was already leveled before we did the battle, that's why. Soul Blight might be nice. Do quite like Soul Blight. Though, do I want to start getting Dark Benediction? Do I need that on all of my vampires? Probably not. Let's go with Soul Blight. Let's go with Soul Blight, because we have Withering as well. Or at least we have the opportunity to get Withering. So we can have Withering and Soul Blight, just to completely nuke the armor of anything we're fighting. If we use both of them on the same guy. Which would be pretty fun. Alright, Tenacity. I like my vampires to be tenacious. Alright, Fervor. Good. So that was pretty good. That went well. Can't complain. Uh, don't like this though. Don't like that much. But let's go to Drakenhof. So sadly, we have three more turns before I can get this to tier four. That's a shame. Until then, though, I can get some other upgrades. So let's go ahead and get that. 
Uh, Walled in half I could upgrade, which actually means it'd be more than three turns before I could upgrade this now, because I've just used all my population surplus. But that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, and more walls, please, on Eshen. See if we can't, uh, well, more garrison, rather. Let's see if we can't keep them safe. Cool. And yeah, you went back and forth to enable that quest battle. So, this has gone quite well. Um, I don't like this guy being all alive and things. Thank God. The nerve. I guess that's it. I think that's all we can do. Uh, Wolfram, though. I would like to get some more units for this guy. Let's get a corpse cart. I know it's just a simple corpse cart, but it keeps these guys a little bit tougher, you know? And I suppose we can get more skeletons, so we might as well. Uh, just the one unit, though, but it's something. And then we don't need siege equipment, because it's Vlad, so we can move on. Okay, this is good news. Uh, Siegfried Koch has decided to move out. He's going, going for Talapheim. Oh, Krugenheim is another uh, Hockland spot? That's very annoying. So the omens are ill, or something you have done has angered the gods. Yet they are fickle, or they may forgive you in time. Or more immediate appeasement might be necessary. Uh, extra tribute will keep people happy, but the extra growth sounds better to me. But I think everyone's pretty, uh, pretty chuffed. Well, not in Wolfenburg, apparently. But people are mostly all chuffed. And in fact, this army can't deal with Wolfenbergs. That one is uh, ours. Lovely. Good stuff. So, Wolfram Hertwig? Shall we get you something else? I mean, I could get him the the handgunners. I could do that. Oh, I've got the Chloride Gash. Stern's been really good, too. Oh, there's some great uh, great units here. Actually, the Dire Pack are fantastic, too. I should give those to uh, to Isabella. Silly that I haven't already. Dire Pack, fantastic. They've got anti-large bonuses. So against, like, large, low-armored things, you can just, just kill them to bits. Also, they're triple gold chevrons. They've just got higher combat stats anyway. Because, you know, they start sort of fully experienced. Which is really cool. But until then, for us keep. And uh, we're just going to auto-resolve that. And we are going to raise it to the ground. Oh no, we killed Theodoric von Kludberg. Unlucky mate. So, Isabella. Uh, I'd like to get evasion. The extra melee defense and speed is just useful, always. So let's get... You know, Gaze and Gash is a pretty cool one to have, actually. Because we don't have any magic missiles in this army. But her blasting people from the air sounds like a lot of fun. Earth thing might be nice. No, let's get you uh, let's get you more fighty. I want to get Immortal Will on all of our characters so they can all heal. Dark Benediction, even though we have that on other characters already. And it's, a you know, an aura. So it doesn't matter too much. Okay. Ono von Falkenstein. So, no attrition in this area because Vampiric Corruption is so high. Which is pretty awesome. Big, big fan of that. So what we're going to do, though, we're going to move over here, and I am going to going to ambush stance, just on the off chance that someone decides to run at us. We will be able to arrive at a city next uh, turn anyway. All right, let's get magical reserves, and one more level of purple sun, and we can get Arcane Conduit. Nice. Big fan of that. Uh, right, Schwarzhofen, you have an upgrade for me. It's going to give me a little bit of extra cash. So I'm going to do that. Uh, ugh. I would love to get the Thorny Orchard get more wine. I mean, having more trade goods will mean that people will be more likely to trade with us, but people are still very unlikely to trade with us. Because, yeah, reliability is awful. Always has been, always right. will be. But, you nah, they're still not willing. Even though they are our vassal, we can't command them to trade with us. It's very annoying. That would be a nice thing, actually, if it did do that. It would actually let you just tell them what to do. Alright, more skeletons. Good lad. Alright. Hmm. I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious, guys. I'm suspicious of the lack of things we're doing each turn. It's very strange to me. It's a very new experience. My words are as deadly as my blade, mortal. I think Nordland have finally declared war on us. That's interesting. Alright, let's do it. And Avaland refused to join us, which means that they're not our military ally anymore. So we've already lost them. Talabagland, though, they are they are towing the party line, but it means we're down to one ally again. One person that we had no choice but to kill, and one vassal. 
It's a bit weak. So now I need to do something about this pile of absolute trash. But uh, we can confederate them. We can we can punish Marius for this. So that's okay. Eventually, we'll probably handle this first. Uh, so Dreitcher is going to go for uh, Wildemar Pappenheimer, by the looks of it. So hopefully we won't have to contend with that. One thing I am a bit concerned with is at some point... Uh, Dreitcher does very much like us. I was thinking at some point Dreitcher might stab us in the back. Uh, there's also a chance we can trade with her. Eventually, you know, once uh, reliability settles down. Though I'm not sure that'll ever happen. Because if you declare war on someone, and then you vassalize them within 10 turns, it counts as you piecing out with them too early, which is seen as unreliable. It's a bit dumb. You're like breaking the agreement that you have, which is being at war. It's some weird, weird nonsense happens in diplomacy in this game. Um, so anyway, Melissa Ratep. Let's have a look. Let's get... Yeah, Soul Blight. Let's level that up again. Good. As for Manuel Posner... Let's get you um, Tenacity, maybe. Let's go with Tenacity. And we can have Dark Benediction on her as well. Not that we really need it, mind you, but uh, we're going to do it anyway. God, Siegfried is so close. He's so close. You just, you just have to take it. What I could do is stand near Talapheim, actually, with Isabella. That might be a good idea. Oh, can I not cross that? I can't. I can't cross into this area. Never mind then. Uh. Okay, I can't get into my own territory, so I'm suffering attrition. Whatever I do, I think. Well, not quite. I can't raid, but that just means no attrition, but no um, replenishment either, which is not great. Not great. Yeah, I think we're just going to suffer attrition then. So, might as well just walk it. Fine. It's a pain, but it is what it is. So, I can upgrade something. No, I can't. I can build a brand new building. I do like new buildings. I would, ideally, like a ghost fence. Everyone loves a good ghost fence, because Bacuffin is a bit pathetic. I'm sorry, Wolfram, but it's true. Hmm... Yeah, I'm not sure I want to spend any money on any of this either. I mean, handgunners? Maybe. Maybe the handgunners. Haven't made my mind up on that yet. Haven't made my mind up on it. Because that's the thing. I can add as many skeletons to Wolfram's army as I want, because they're free. The corpse guard isn't, but, you know, this has cost me 450 quid, so... Alright, 79 for all you pedantic people in uh, in the comments. But, yeah, um, screw it. Let's get a couple more zombie, not zombies, skeletons, and call it a day. So again, suspicious lack of stuff happening this turn. Given how the rest of this campaign has been, I just expect to have been, you know, having to juggle 20 things. But there's just nothing happening right now. It's really weird. Okay, ambusher for Ono von Falkenstein, which is fantastic. I'd love to see it. Uh, Nud Helborg is over here. We get to handle that guy. Although it looks like his army is absolute trash, so I don't think we really have to worry too much about these guys. I think we can just sort of meander past him. Uh, how much is it to get into raiding? 50%, right? 50% to adopt. Yep. You're raiding now, mate. You are raiding. I have no fear of our enemies here. None at all. Yeah, we've got enough we got enough hounds and things that we can sort of harass the back line. We can summon zombies behind the front line as well. So the Mortis engine can just sort of unaccostedly murder all of the cheap infantry in the front. So we're good. So anyway, Ambush of uh, Ono van Falkenstein is going to be very, very good. An Age of Discovery. We aren't a major port owner, so this hasn't done anything for us, which is upsetting. So the raging sea god Stromfels has gone missing, perhaps blown too far south by the arcane tempest that is consuming the world. With his absence, the great ocean is becalmed. The denizens of the world sense an opportunity. It is no longer for the elves to dominate the seas alone. Other powers seek to ply the oceans, hunt for treasures, and expand their empires abroad. However, they must not mistake a calm sea for a safe one. There are still countless dangers lurking in the deeps. I'm sure there are so. You need to head over to Wolfenburg. And uh, we'll see about... Well, that's a different army over there. Yeah, so there's a couple of stacks running around over here. 
Where, where are you going, Helmut? Where are you going? Are these... Okay, it looks like he's going in two places at once. That's fine. I will allow it. But I'm a little bit nervous that uh, he's going to fail over here in Talapheim. I don't know how he's going to do it. Because, I mean, this has been taken, which is good. So I don't think um, Ostland has anything... Not Ostland, Hockland has anything else for me. But they might have something up their sleeve. They may have something up their sleeve. Also, how long before he starts suffering attrition? Still three more turns, which I think is a bit rubbish. I think the amount of time you need to besiege a settlement in this game is way too high, because it means that it is never feasible to, like, wait anything out, because it just takes too long. I mean, it's insane. Nine more turns until surrender. We've only played 70 turns total. So, like, that just feels like such a huge expense. So, yeah, it's odd. I hope they, I hope they lower that substantially, so it's like there is some viable tactics in place to adopt that from time to time because there's no way if there's a second army you know if there's a second settlement they're not going to raise another army and run at you in that time um it's just no way like there's never a way of sort of sneaking in quickly and and taking advantage of that sort of attrition and everything it, it feels widely pointless uh what's going on here then quite confused. <laughs> so, Gotrek and Felix are working for Helmut Powerback, who is our vassal, so we are actually on the same team as Gotrek and Felix. Which is just... The universe is broken, guys. We've broken... We've broken Warhammer. We have broken Warhammer. This is ridiculous. Like, it's so obvious that Gotrek and Felix are on the wrong side here. <laughs> that is incredibly funny. So the game thinks we're going to lose this, which, uh, I mean, yeah, maybe we will, right? Maybe we will, but hopefully not. Uh, we're going to have to fight it, regardless. Alright, well, we're going to pour in from one angle or another. Annoyingly, this is the army that is nothing but skeletons, so it's going to take, like, many, many weeks for the battle to actually start. But, I mean, they're coming as reinforcements. No, that's that's Go Truck and Felix. The enemy's over here somewhere. It's all very silly. So, luckily, you can fly. Can you both fly? No, you can't. That's a shame. So we have we have this vampire that can uh, do some work. It's a shame it's only Spirit Leech, though, that she's got. And, and them. Why didn't I put a Shadow Wizard in this army? Silly me. Alright. Spearman there. Whoops. Normal skeletons there. We've got our crypt ghouls from our garrison over here. Bats in another army. You go in group uh, go in group two. If you hold control, by the way, you can um, control in a number. You can then assign additional units. I've seen people ask that before. So again... You know, select the new unit that I want, hold control, press 2, it gets added to the group. Nifty little shortcut. Speeds things up a tad. So in goes Gotrek. Archers are there, which is super weird. Not quite sure what they're playing at. I don't know what the bats are going to do, honestly. So here's another army of uh, old Helmut Fowerback. This is very Gotrek and Felix, though. To be fighting, like, on their own. Okay, you guys run in. That's a problem. But, we found ourselves a target, so that's good. It's very good, in fact. Alright. You lot, stay in the trees. And it looks like Gotrek is going to survive for a week over there, so I think we're alright. So, Spirit Leech, I'm just going to use on random units. Good. Crypt Ghouls should be able to outrun them. 38 to 35. So, yeah, we will catch up to them eventually. We can go with everyone else, too. We should end up in here somewhere poisoning all the units these guys are fighting. So, that'll help quite a bit. These guys will try and shoot us, I'm sure. Probably these Outriders too, you know, a bunch of other things. But we do have some cover with the trees here. So hopefully, 
that'll help us out, and we can deal with these Hellstorm rocket batteries before uh, all these guys turn around and stop us. That'd be embarrassing. I mean, bats aren't the greatest, but kind of hope they do uh, something. Okay, you lot doing great. Keep chasing those cross bowmen. I don't care how cross they are. And you know what? You guys are going to double back. I don't need all of you charging the same way. And you're going to poison those spearmen. Uh, Goat Trike's doing poorly right now, but... Nah, I can't heal him. Shame. I know that has happened in the past. You did used to be able to do that. You used to be able to use Invocation to hack on everybody, I'm pretty sure. It was uh, a little broken. But that was fine by me. Okay, so we dealt with their artillery. Now let's just fly off. That's fine. Okay, double back into there. You guys push forwards. Uh, Felix is still going strong. I'm amazed we're still going strong here, but... It makes sense. So one thing I can do, actually, is I can always buff Goat Shrek, so he hits harder. There we go, 94 melee attack. Definitely need that against the uh, basic Spearman. Definitely. Can you imagine if we didn't have that? Oh, my word. Alright, you guys need to go for these bats. Not bats, you are the bats. You need to go for these archers. Because this is taking forever to catch up. Longer than forever. Taking forever in a day. Okay, where are my cryptals? Yeah, one over there. One over there. Ah, wait. Hang on. Yeah, other one over here. Cool. Yeah, there he is. I think he's in this clump. He's not. He's not in that clump. These guys are still fighting. Alright, you lot can move up. All of the allied archers are wasting their time. So, yay. That's great. Love that. Okay, you try and deal with that. We are going to lose units to their archers over here, for sure. There are so many enemies coming in. So many. Well, no, I certainly hope so. Uh, we are getting a little hurt over here. That's okay. We can heal up. Oh, actually, we got a healing cap quite high up there. That's a bit of a problem. But we should be done over here soon. This is just pathetic. The lack of care over here is just silly. Alright, you guys are holding these guys at bay. That's something. And Helmed Foulback is just going YOLO right now. They're probably going to die. These guys are definitely going to die. So we will lose some Crypt Ghouls. They're the Garrison's Crypt Ghouls, though, so, you know, why why should I mind? We do have a bunch of archers on our side, which should help deal with their archers. So maybe I just need to sit about and wait for a while. Those are just spearmen. That's the ridiculous thing. These are just spearmen. They're surrounded. Unbelievable. Oh, I do have a corpse cart. That finally came in. Silly me. Should have been here all along. Okay. Ooh, great swords coming in. They're going to get literally hundreds of kills before the end. I will need to use the rest of my magic on them, honestly. They're the most dangerous thing here. I mean, you know, the rest of these units will do damage over time. It'll be kind of a nuisance, but... But yeah, great swordsmen are just going to get hundreds of kills. It's just going to keep going up and up and up and up. So, we'll have to kill them with Spirit Legion. Which we will, of course. You know, we will. It's just going to take a little while. Perhaps longer than a little while. Yeah, there's still a lot over here. Alright. Uh, you don't all need to chase them. <laughs> uh, Scout and Spearman can chase. That's fine. Alright, you stay on the Voldemar. That's fine. And we have no magic. Excellent. That's what I love to see. And we are suffering a lot of damage from their archers. I'm amazed that our side's archers aren't shooting their archers while I'm keeping them busy. That's very frustrating, actually. That's, that's very frustrating. But... Nope, 6 and 21 and 21. I mean, they're not getting terrible kills. They're shooting into... Ah, they're shooting the Outriders. That's not bad, actually. That's not a bad shout, killing the Outriders. 
can't argue with that. Now let's go... Oh my god, Goat Track's getting wrecked. Yeah, let's go poison his enemies so they can't hurt him much. I know, I'm helping out Goat Track. Why am I saving Goat Track? It's very weird. It's a weird feeling, guys. Let's attack these great swords with... Uh, Ugh, someone who's hit a healing cap. That's never idea. So we're fighting side by side with Felix. It's a weird day. Alright, let's get all the vampires over here, please. Alright, you charge in. Alright, you're gonna move forwards. Yeah, hopefully we can get rid of these grey swords. Soon. So we are actually depleted on our magic, which is a shame. And we don't have anyone high enough level to have Arcane Conduit. Which is something that I'd sort of been taking for granted. I was thinking we had it, but, but no. We're not so lucky. I move over there. Go Trek is somehow still going. Somehow still going. You might actually be able to deal with this Arch Lector, which would be fantastic. Oh, you're back there for some reason. Not quite sure what they're doing there. That's a bit weird. You can start chasing them about. Okay, you double back into there. This is very strange. Helmet power back, just dealing with some crossbowmen. I hope he can deal with those crossbowmen. Or else I'm going to be incredibly embarrassed. Corpse Cat is in here, which is nice to see. Uh, there is a hero in here. That's going to be good value. If we can get some damage into him. And yep, great sword. 246 kills so far. I wish I was surprised. But no, they are pretty much a lawnmower. And they're starting to run out of ammunition, so the archers are going to have to come fight us now. That's good news. Goat Track is still going. And, yep, he did He did have the arch like to retreat, which is very nice. And this finally broke. But that just means that all these archers are good. Actually, they might all go for this clump, which is good. I'll keep them off my clump. That's right, you stay away from my clump. Oh, and there goes the great swords. And I don't see their hero anywhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. He's going for a helmet. Alright, come on. Let's go help him. Let's go help him out. Get in the air. Come on. Come on, Sky Horse. Come along. Come along, Sky Horse. Go, Sky Horse. Good. Go mess up Voldemort here. Good. Although, uh, hunting down some of these guys would be pretty good. I'll hunt him down afterwards. That'd be incredibly useful to us. And it does have the crossbow, but it's trying to run away now. Oh, looks like he's trying to run away. Could you not? Anyway, I've got all these guys ready to move. Uh, they're all running away, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, who's over here? Alright, you. Go chase them if you can. You might break before you get there. Ah, good. Fowlback's going to come help me. Because I'd rather not leave my vampire in there on his own. Could you guys shoot him, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Hard to say. And looks like we're going to get the better of him. Excellent. Then I'll go kill their lord and try and avoid all of the flak. <laughs> Alright, come on. Good, shattered. Now let's go shatter this guy. Come on, in the sky. Good. Now what do we got going on? Just, just piles. We have piles. I'm definitely going to get misquoted now, aren't I? Yes, I am. Alright, come on. Mess him up. Don't know where Helmut's going, but I don't care. He's fine now. I believe in him. Now let's fight this arch lector. Oh. That was unusual. I'm not going to lie, guys. I was nowhere near that guy. I really have no idea how he died there. Yeah, not a clue. Not a clue, but that's definitely upset our enemies. It's definitely given him a bit of a fright. I really wish they would turn around and fight that guy. Now, where's my corpse car? MVP. Brilliant. Get in there. Start, start fighting. Okay, collect more corpses. Pile them high. And how are you doing? Terribly. Yeah, good. Yeah, I need to get out of there. I can't heal her. Oh no, that's why. Volmir von Rokov. Came here to cause a Rokovs. Rokovs. 
It's causing it to walk us. How? How does that one archer have more mass than our evil Pegasus monster creature chap? Oh, I don't know how you guys ended up there, but you can run back that way. All right. It's exciting. All right, let's have a look. Go fight those archers. You know what? Actually, go kill those archers. All we need to do is stop them moving. So all of these archers of ours can start getting some work done. Well, looks like Felix is in here. Yeah, we need to deal with uh, Valmir. If we can deal with him as well, then we're laughing. All right, now who should I buff? Because it's the last magic we got. Uh, I guess these skeleton warriors, because they're there in the front line. That's really, that's really it. It's my only consideration. They're fighting currently. They will do. Okay, you're almost there. You're all, oh, good. Those archers finally decided to turn. Marvellous. Okay, now where am I going to put you where you're not going to get hurt? Because all these archers are a real problem. And they're going to take a long time to chase down, that's for sure. Well, oh, Valmir von Rorkov is over here now, fighting a corpse cart. And I'm not going to lie, I think he's going to win. Corpse carts aren't very good. <laughs> Though, his leadership is going pretty low. So you never know. Corpse cart might win. It looks like the corpse cart's winning. Go, corpse cart. You can do it. Corpse cart, MVP. Come on, man. Come on, you can take him. <laughs> he's trying. Oh my god, he scared him off. He's only shaken. He's not actually broken yet. But we can pretend. Alright, go get him. Alright, now you need to do something useful, don't you? Yes, you do. <laughs> like this guy. Like Helmut Fowlback. Let's just hope our enemy don't start fouling back. Get it? Because it sounds a bit like buyback. I know. I'm hilarious. Don't let that intimidate you. Alright, Helmut. Come here, you. Look at this route. This is great news. Don't have to worry about that happening to uh, to us. Yeah, this is great news. Um, I don't know what to do with you. Can I fly overhead and maybe startle some? I mean, that, those war wagons are going to keep going forever, aren't they? Let's chase down those hand gunners for a second. And hopefully, they won't die. Hopefully. Probably going to die. But hopefully, they won't. Alright, come on. Get more damage into him, okay? I need the balance of power to shift more. No better way to affect the balance of power than clobbering their lord. The old lord clobbering is just what the doctor ordered. I'm going to use this anyway. Just to make me feel better, even though we're going to get no healing out of it. Because we've hit our healing cap. Alright, a lot of units start to come back. Even some with ammunition. That's a pity. It's a big old pity. But this is going well. And uh, Felix is going for it. I think Gotrek may have died, though. I think, I think Gotrek might be dead. Unlucky Gotrek. Although, you know, it's kind of the plan, but... It's not exactly honourable dying, trying to fight, um... Trying to fight... Alongside the undead. You know, it's a bit of a... Bit of a break from tradition, I'd say. They're probably going to kill me now, aren't they? Please don't. Nope, they're shooting over this way. Perfect. Now they're getting chased. Ah, marvellous. And we have caught the war wagons, thanks to Helmut Fowlback, which is great. Again, big old fan of that. Okay, can you just get hit, just for like a nice big hit, please? Corpse Cart, four kills! I've never seen a Corpse Cart perform that well. Where are you going? Where are you going, mate? That's army losses! <laughs> ah, look at them run. Cowards. Marvellous. So that took, what, 25 minutes? Awesome. Pyrrhic victory. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. We completely annihilated the great swords, which is great news, because they're, well, they're, they're great swords. Um, so it's good that they're not here anymore. Uh, Gotrek died, which I just think is funny, because he was, he died fighting for the bad guys. Which is just, <laughs> just absurd. I love this campaign. Uh, so yeah, we did good. I'm pretty happy with this.
Vault from Hertwig, you know, did a good job. Good for him. Uh, let's dominate the captives. Hmm, I'm not sure we'll actually see anything, any benefit from that. Let's just return them. Let's return them. Okay, partly because they're better spread the terror. Uh, and also we can pretend that we're being benevolent. Okay, so, um, Emil von Corden has appeared. And, uh, for some reason... <laughs> Siegfried Koch has decided not to attack Talapheim. Even though that's the one job. It's the one thing I told them to do. And they're not doing it. So that's great. Um, so... We still can't take this. If we get attacked by Emil von Corden... These guys can get dragged into it. It might take the whole thing, and then we'll be stuck resolving it. Um, it might take the settlement automatically. So we really, ideally, need an ambush. But we cannot get close enough to set up an ambush. Grr. That's quite frustrating. I mean, just standing nearby, actually, this guy probably won't want to attack. So that might be how we do it, actually. Um, that might be how we do it. Also, ghost fence. That way we can actually get some Vargeists and Graveguard in this garrison and we won't have to fight another half an hour battle with skeletons. So that's good news. Also, this guy can get... Aura of Supremacy. I know, it's not great yet, but we're getting there. Also, extra uh, melee defense and speed for Vargeists. I am trying to end this episode, you know, game. So when Vargeists emerge from their tomb-like cocoons, they have a great hunger. This can, uh, cantrip ensures it never slakes. Wow, that's cruel. So we did defeat uh, Valmir von Rokov in battle. Wonderful. And next up we need to assassinate this guy. So um, let's let's do that. You failed. You're a failure. You're a failure. And yeah, we need to get some magic with this girl. For sure. Alright, we're ending it. We're ending the episode now. That's what's happening. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.